What's up, you guys? This is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Um, what's up, Capricorn? How is everybody? Hope everybody's doing fantastical. I do, I do, I do, I do. Um, this is for Tom Caps for November uh, 15 of 2022 to November 22 of 2022. I know it's the 16th, but this is the last sign I had to get done. So technically, it's supposed to be 15th through, through the 22nd. So I apologize. Just saying, just saying. This is for Sana Capricorn. This resonates if you have Cap any aspects of the chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Thumb, and Hebrew, Jupiter, Charge. Stuff is basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with rest. Read them off like reading. Now, I did receive several downloads for your sign, Caps, as I was meditating on your energy. Like I said, you're the last sign for me to do for weekly readings, and I'm a day late, and I do apologize. But I'm sitting here, and I'm getting hella downloads, man. I like hella downloads. So, we're just going to roll with it, okay? Let's go resonate if you have caps in any aspects of your chart, okay? Um, I love you guys. I do. Okay, so we're just going to roll. So, the first channeling I heard was class act. So, class act, that's a very classy person, for anybody who doesn't know. Class act is a very classy person. So, um, that could be you. That's a class act, very classy person, or somebody you're connected to is a very classy person. But somebody's a class act, my dear, and that's really beautiful. Just saying. Um, the second one, I heard someone's about to get arrested soon. It's about to shock the hell out of you. Uh, that was the second one. So it's not you about to get arrested, Capricorn. It's somebody else. Somebody else is about to get arrested. Um, for at least one, you know who this person is, and it's about to shock the hell out of you. They're about to get arrested. So whoever... This is, and this is for, it's not you, it's somebody connected to you. I didn't hear who it was. But um, you're going to be shocked when they get arrested. So that's the second one. The third one, I heard, uh, oh, now I have a brain fart. Give me a second. Yeah, oh, hold on, I had like two more. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, the third one was um, shocking events coming in the next two weeks. That was the third one. Shocking events coming in the next two weeks. That was the third one. And I've still forgotten the fourth one. I'll have to see if I can remember it. So, some kind of shocking events happening in the next two weeks. So, the two weeks is like, okay. So, today's the 16th. So, two weeks would be the 30th, the last day of November. So, shocking events from now, I'm presuming, whoever this is for, for 11-16 to 20-22 to the end of November. Some kind of shocking events. Now, that, to me, could go very good or very bad. Some kind of shocking events within the next two weeks, okay? Spirit messages you have to sign a text. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. And the fourth one I heard, um, a Capricorn... A Capricorn is about to be very, very, very angry and disappointed at a Libra film. I heard it is about to almost permanently damage the relationship. A Capricorn is about to be very, very angry and um, um, pissed um, at a Libra film. It's about to um, almost permanently damage the relationship. It probably will. It probably will. Huge liar, and you're about to figure this out. Huge liar, and you're about to figure it out. So, this Libra femme, whoever she is to you now, um, whoever she is, okay? She could be anybody. Um, she could be, I didn't hear she was older or younger. I thought she could be 18 to 99 or 99 plus, but she's a huge liar. You're about to figure out she is. It's about to almost permanently damage the relationship, whoever she is to you, okay? For one, she's your sister. For one, she's your aunt. For one, she's someone you uh, went to school with. For one, she's your sister. For one, she's your aunt. And for one, she is someone you went to school with. Um, and for one, she's your former lover. And for one, she's your former lover. So for whoever this is for, Capricorn, this Libra, um, she's a huge-ass liar, and she lied to you. You're about to figure it out, and a lot of freaking drama and blase, blase, blase. For some, it's your sister. For some, it's your aunt. For some, it's your um, former lover. For one, it's someone you went to school with. So, I feel like college, technical school, um, 
two-year associates, four-year state school, Ivy school, Ivy League, elementary school, what have you, what have you, okay? How that resonates and applies, okay? But you're about to realize she's a huge-ass liar. I heard it's almost going to permanently damage the relationship. The relationship will never be the same again after this, that's for sure. The relationship will never be the same after this, for sure. That's for sure. So something, and I feel for some, it could be the shocking events about to happen in the next two weeks. Something is about that somebody's relationship, at least it sounds like four of you guys in the universe, with the Libra fam is just about to basically, if not completely fall apart, damn near fall apart. But it sounds like for good reasons, because I heard she's a huge ass liar. You're about to figure it out. And uh, it sounds like the relationship is just not going to come back the way it ever was again. But it sounds like because of the lies and something about to come out. Or already has come out. How that resonates and applies. Okay. All right. For some of you dealing with a, another earth sign or a fire sign. If you are, they could have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or Aries, Leo, Sag, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, north, node, moon, Hamer, Jupiter charts. If you are Capricorn. Because you have earthworm and vulture, sunrise, new creative ideas, new ventures, a fresh start, ink pot, problems to be resolved, lion, time to act, or perks, waiting for new package letter. All right, let's do it, Capricorn. Hold on. Oh, I was going to say, the deck I wanted to use was not there. I see it now. You're not the only one that knows she's a liar, and you're about to figure this out in a huge way. And it's about to almost completely demolish this relationship. For one, it's going to completely demolish it. Okay, and we have the family card. I heard for one, it's your aunt. For one, it's your sister. Just saying, just saying. So, this Libra femme, she's still coming in. Um, okay, so I heard you're not the only one that knows she's a liar. Many people do. So, 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 so many people do. So many do. Okay, and for one, you're her subscriber. And for one, you're her subscriber. So for one, you're her subscriber. So you fit over here if you're her subscriber too. So subscriber, so whatever you subscribe to her for, some kind of social media service or services, you're her subscriber. Uh, so I, I, you fit over here. This resonates subscriber Capricorn to this Libra. But um, I heard you're not the only one that knows that she's a liar. Basically a shit ton of people do. Um, and I heard uh, for one, it's going to completely demolish your relationship with her. Whether you're in her family, a subscriber, ex-lover, someone you went to school with, with her, or what have you, what have you, or not. Um, but many people know. Many people know. So for one, it's going to completely destroy your relationship with her. For one, it's not, uh, it's going to damn near destroy it. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit. Um, because only you would know if you're blocking her out of your life, completely destroying the relationship with her, cutting off communication, blocking her, blocking her energy. And we do have energy on the bottom of the deck. Um, or not, okay? Or you're not blocking her energy and it's almost completely destroyed it, but but you communicate with her every now and then. How that resonates and applies. Because for one, you're about to completely sever ties with her ass. For one, it could be that subscriber, you're going to unsubscribe. For one, you're, it don't sound like you're going to completely cut her out of your life, but damn near, so almost cut her out. But it sounds, I mean, a lot of people know she's a liar. A, a crap ton. Like, it's pretty obvious. Whatever this is. Number 17 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 17, it could be a possible age of viewers, somebody you're connected to, or any of the significant number. Number 17, energy. And we have energy, you know, the energetic cutting energy and damn near cutting the energy here. So that would make sense. For some, I feel you could, um, you could be dealing with a fire sign or have fire in your chart with the fire spirit, possibly, or not. If you are, you could have Aries Leo Sag in your chart or be dealing with fire sign because we have fire spirit. But definite energetic cord cutting here, for one, uh, for one, you're going to damn near cord cut it. But this relationship just is not going to be the same way it was again. And I keep pulling her in, but I mean, that's what I'm getting. And that's just the truth. All right. I heard take family, too. We have family underneath it again. Number 51 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 51. It could be a possible age of viewers, somebody you're connected to, or any other significant number. Number 51. Earthworm.
someone who's in evaluation process right now is about to get let go of. It is about to shock you. But you're about to realize why after it happens. It should have happened. Okay, somebody that's in evaluation <clears throat> about uh, some kind of workplace environment. Okay, evaluation situation in a workplace environment right now. So I think they're like in their 90-day period. Because you um like corporate conglomerates, most of them, not saying all of them, but the ones I've worked at, they were 90-day evaluation periods. Um, and that's just the truth. So 90-day eval periods. Um for the ones I've worked at. Now, I know not all of them are like that, but the ones I have worked at have been 90-day eval periods. But So it reminds me of something like that. I didn't hear it was a corporate conglomerate, but it definitely is a 3D workspace situation. And they're in some kind of evaluation period. Now, whether it's 90 days or 120 days or 30 days, whatever the day evaluation period is, they are under it right now. Heard they're about to get let go. Not a good fit. Not a good fit. Not They're not a good fit. But I heard once they get let, let go, you're going to realize why they let, got let go, and you're going to, um, you, it's like you're going to, like hindsight is twenty twenty. You're going to realize why they got let go, and you're going to be like, oh, okay, yeah. You see what I'm saying? So whoever this person is. Um, but I think they're pulling up the earthworm energy because I, I don't think they were meeting all the qualifications or, I heard not a good fit. So if they wasn't meeting all the qualifications, they, I don't, I think they were way below standard is what I'm saying. I just, you know, because sometimes people in the 90 day eval period that I've seen in workspaces, when I've been there and other people have been there, sometimes, you, I mean, I've seen people make it past the 90 day eval period and they, they've been there 10 years and they, it's like they still, like what? You've been here 10 years. You should know your job by the back of your hand and they don't. But there's people... I've seen before that were very, very intelligent, not make it past the 90-day evaluation period, and they should have, if that makes sense. This person, it doesn't sound like they didn't even, they, sh it's like they wasn't getting it or something, or they heard not a good fit, so I just don't think that it was clicking with them, or it was a good fit for the situation or the company, or what have you, what have you. But I heard once they get let go, you're going to realize why, and it sounds like you're going to agree with them. About to agree in a huge way. About to agree in a huge way. I heard you're about to agree in a huge way. So you're about to agree after they get let go that they should have been let go. So in this aspect, Earthworm is basically bottom of the barrel in this co company. I'm, it's some kind of company. Um, they were starting at the bottom, at the bottom rung, but they didn't get past the eval period. So um, start back over, try again kind of thing. So bottom of the rung there. But... They're not, they're about not to make it pass, but it's not you. It's somebody else. Vulture. A police officer is about to get terminated soon for inappropriate sexual conduct with the minor. For one, you're about to help this happen. A police officer is about to get, one, you're about to be shocked. Okay, so for one, you're about to be shocked that this police officer is about to get terminated for inappropriate, for inappropriate sexual conduct with the minor. For one, you're going to be shocked about it. For one, you're going to help make it happen. So you have to plug yourself in where you resonate, Capricorn. Are you going to help make it happen that the police officer is about to get terminated for having inappropriate sexual conduct with the minor, i.e. I. like pedophile energy? Um, it could be masculine, fem, Libran. Uh, ooh, I, hit, I, ooh, I said Libran, but I didn't hear Libran. I said Libran, but I didn't hear Libran. Ooh, maybe it's a Libra. I don't know. I said Libran, but I didn't hear Libran. So it, for some, it might be a Libran police officer. I meant to say masculine or femme is what I meant to say. But I did say Libran, but I didn't hear Libran. For one, it might be a Libran police officer. 
Um, I don't know. You plug it in how it resonates, Capricorn. But how that resonates, they are about to get let go. Now, whichever side of the rung you're on here, whether you're about to be shocked, they're about to be let go, or you're about to help them get let go. For some, I feel it might be a Libra police officer. Um, they're about to have to start over. Um, and I feel they're going to feel... Um, now, what happens to them? I wonder if they're going to get... Um, I heard they're going to be let go. So, off the floor. So, that's obvious pedophile energy. Now, if they get jailed, I don't know. And I will tell you this from experience. My ex-husband's father, my ex-father-in-law, he was a sheriff for about 19 years. And he didn't retire at the 20-year mark because he wasn't able to take his retirement. Because around his 19th year as a sheriff for the Madison County Sheriff's Department here in our town, he got exposed for molesting his daughter. He was a year away from retiring, but they let him go. Now, did he get jailed for it? No, but he did. They kicked him off the force. They kicked him off the force because he was exposed as a pedophile. And that is a true story. So he wasn't able to draw a retirement pension and he only had a year left to do it. And that's just the truth. So, karma comes around in mysterious ways is what I'm trying to say. I didn't hear. That's what's about to happen to this um, police officer. Masculine femme police officer might be a Libran police officer. Because I heard Libran, but I, I didn't hear Libran. I said Libran, I didn't hear Libran. But for one, it's going to shock you. For one, you're going to help put this person off the force, whether they're a masculine or femme police officer. Okay? But pedophile energy. Misappropriate, misappropriate conduct with the minor. And that's just the truth. Pedophile energy, because you can't be no you can't be a police officer and not be an adult, and that's just the truth. So it has to be pedophile energy. Vulture. A very depressed brother is about to become very significant in Capricorn's life. There's about to be huge changes here. A mother's love, a real mother's love is about to become very significant in your life and this brother's life. Okay, um, so a brother is about to become very significant in your life, Capricorn. Now it could be your brother, somebody you call a brother, foster brother, biological brother, what have you, what have you, what have you, but some kind of bro energy, whether, I mean, how that resonates, okay? You have to plug the brother in, how they resonate, Capricorn. But, um, he's very depressed. He's very depressed. Um, and, but I heard soon a mother's love is about to become very significant in a positive way in his life and your life. So, he's a very, he's a depressed brother. He's a depressed brother with the vulture energy. That is my dark arts or depression card. And this aspect is depression, but for some of these brothers, they could be depressed. Maybe somebody put dark arts on their ass, or they attempted to. I didn't hear they did. But definite depression energy with the vulture and the way this card is depicted, that is depression all day long. You have a very depressed brother, for one. For one, I think you already know you do. For one, I think you're about to realize it. But how that resonates, somehow a mother's love is about to become very significant. A real mother's love. A real mother's love. A real mother's love is about to become very significant in a positive way in his life and your life. So, um, however the real mother, um, how they resonate and apply for your life, okay? For some of you, could live with your real mother. For some, maybe not. For some, maybe you're going to meet your real mother or visit with your real mother or what have you, what have you. But some kind of real mother energy. Uh, however, you plug into the life scope, um, Maybe for some, you haven't seen your real mom in forever, and you're going to go travel and visit her. You know, maybe for some, you live with her. Um, but for one, you definitely have a depressed brother, and um, a real mother's love is about, it is about to help him in so much, so many ways, and you. It is about to help him in so many ways, and you. So some kind of real mother love. Hit, I heard real mother, so your real mother, his real mother. It's about to help you and him in so many ways. But I think it's about to help his depression, um, is what I think. It's going to help his depression. And true love always helps depression, if you might need to hear that. It always does. It does. I mean, whether it's romantical love or 
brotherly sibling love or parent love. It really, it always helps. Sunrise, new creative ideas, new ventures, a fresh start. The mini series of chain of events that Capricorn is about to travel a very long distance. One for a vacation. One for inspirational idea. One, you're about to move. Change in residence. Out of state. All these are about to be very, very, very good for a Capricorn. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. So for one of you guys, you're about to um, travel for some kind of creative um, endeavor, um, which is beautiful. Um, so I think you're about to go travel and get inspiration for a creative endeavor is what I'm presuming. Um, or you travel and you travel and it inspires you and sparks up the beautiful creative juices inside of you. And it gives you a creative idea, uh, how that resonates. Um, and for one, you're about to move far distances. I heard out of state, you're about to move residence change. You're about to residence change. So, um. I think it's about to give you a fresh start in all these aspects. A heavy traveling energy here. All three are heavy traveling. All three of them are. And um, one of them, um, for one, it's about to re change your life in a positive way. You had a beautiful life, and you're about to get it back. Okay, for one of you, it's about to change your life in a positive way. I heard you had a beautiful life, and you're about to get it back. So you had a beautiful life somewhere, like in the past. You had a beautiful life. I heard you're about to get it back. So that's beautiful. So um, that's the new venture with the fresh start. Um, you had a beautiful life in the past. You're about to get it back. Um, whether you're moving out of state for it or not, somebody's about to move out of state. You're about to move out of state far distances with a relocation change, change of residence. Um, for one, you had a, a beautiful life in the past. You're about to get it back. So that's a fresh start. Uh, restart um how that resonates and applies but i feel a lot of birth and inspirate not physical birth like giving birth i feel inspiration and growth and beautiful creative ideas um here like with the traveling for and the inspiration and creative ideas and the traveling just traveling and the traveling far those long distances to relocate all of them, I feel inspiration, growth, like beautiful, beautiful energy, like for real, for real. Ink pot, problems to resolve. A Scorpio and a Sagittarius's and a Gemini's dirty little plans of the past and a Libra's are about to really, really, really backfire. Really backfire. A Scorpio, a Sagittarius, a Gemini, and a Libra's dirty plans of the past are about to really backfire. So um, it doesn't sound like it's your problem there, Capricorn. It's somebody else's problem. For some, it could be somebody in your family. For some, maybe not. But Scorpio, a Gemini, a Sag, and a Libra's dirty... Um, Excuse me. Dirty little plan of the past about to backfire. 